<laughs> oh, oh god. Oh. Ah, it's time to play some Counter-Strike Global Offensive again. Let me just browse to my library. Oh, here it... Wait, Counter-Strike 2 released? Oh my goodness. Wait, does that mean I can't play CSGO anymore? Hmm, well, at least we got Source 2 now, and oh boy, do we have Source 2 all right, and all the goodness that comes with that, especially the Source 2 editor. Oh yeah, I wanted Counter-Strike 2 for basically just one thing, the Source 2 Hammer Editor so I can actually start making something in this engine. It's the only Valve engine I really haven't done anything serious in, so it's time to rectify that. Generation. Okay, so before we dive into the editor, let me just talk about my first impressions with the actual game so far. Now, I'd also like to mention that I'm by no means a pro player, and I really don't take Counter-Strike all that seriously. To me, it's just a shooty-shooty game that I occasionally play to scratch some kind of itch that I have. Also, I'm very rusty at the game. I haven't played in a while, so... Yeah. If you're cringing at the gameplay you're currently seeing, just know that I'm cringing right with you. Oh, and I also never got access to the limited test either, so I could only start playing last Wednesday. So, yeah. These are really early first impressions. And so far, yeah, I like it. The game to me feels a lot like CSGO in terms of movement and the actual shooting part. Although it does feel a little bit better than before, presumably due to the new tick system. Or maybe it's the new blood particles. Or maybe both. And look, I can see my own legs now. How much are we willing to bet that Valve is going to introduce leg cosmetics at some point? Come on, these leggies are begging to be customized. The new loadout system does take some getting used to, though. I was wondering where all my skins were when I was playing, but it turned out I had to re-equip them through the loadout menu, which is now connected to the new buy menu that replaces the old buy wheel. The buy menu now only shows off stuff that you have equipped in your loadout, so make sure you check that before you start playing. Also, not all game modes and maps are present yet, like the war games and Danger Zone. Although there have been rumors that Valve are bringing them back with some fresh code later down the line, but take that with a grain of salt, there's no, no real confirmation for that. Although it would have been much better for these game modes to just have been present at launch. Kinda weird they decided to release without them, but okay? So now that I talked a little bit about the gameplay, how does Source 2 change the game graphically? Well. It depends. Some maps like Italy and Inferno are rebuilt for Source 2 and look absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at the footage of Inferno, this map looks truly next-gen. And then there is Mirage, a truly ancient relic. Look at these Half-Life 2 assets, man, they look so out of place with this newer lighting and shading and their textures are extremely low-res as well. Obviously, Valve was planning a more thorough remake of this map later down the line, but yeah, just so you know, not every map in this game looks amazing yet. All of the water absolutely does, though. Honestly, this got to almost be the best looking water in any video game I've ever played. It's so responsive and smooth and, I don't know, it just looks appropriately wet. Oh, and your feet stay wet as well for a couple of seconds after stepping out of the water. Love that attention to detail. Okay, that's all I'm willing to talk about for the main game, though. If you want a more thorough review of Counter-Strike 2's gameplay, I suggest you watch your favorite Counter-Strike YouTubers. They probably do a better job at explaining Counter-Strike's gameplay than I ever could. Now I want to get my greasy McDonald's hands on that level editor right there. So I decided to do two really fast maps to kind of get the hang of the Source 2 editor for a bit. First, I made an outdoor map with a few test elements in them, like this goofy structure, some displacements, slopes, and scattered grass. And the second map that I made was a quick and dirty indoor map that I couldn't be bothered to finish. It looks bad. Now, this isn't the first run-in I had with the Source 2 Hammer Editor, actually. I tried it out all the way back when Half-Life Alex released back in 2020. Yeah, that's three years ago now. And later on, I tried it again when I got access to Sandbox. I have to admit, it's a really nice editor. A huge step up from the old Hammer editor we know and love and hate. Everything from placing brushes or meshes and crafting your level out of them is just super easy and so much more pleasant to use. And hey, you can actually preview your lighting now, even by using path tracing straight in the editor to get a close approximation of what your lighting is going to look like in the game when it's fully compiled. 
you also don't need to close your map up anymore. You can leave everything fully exposed to the void because leaking is no longer a thing. This used to be a major pain in the ass in both Gold Source and Source engine mapping, and I'm glad Valve finally fixed this with Source 2. Also, if you have a ray tracing compatible card in your system, Hammer can now also use those ray tracing cores to speed up the compiling process. In fact, you kind of need a ray tracing compatible card in order to use certain light types introduced in Counter Strike 2. Yeah. Yikes. Um, that could get kind of expensive for some people. All in all, creating this test map was a joy, and I can't wait to actually make a proper map next. My favorite thing to do in this test map was flooding the whole thing with water. It was really simple to do, actually. You just put down a mesh and you put a water texture on top of it and BAM! You're done! At least for knee-height water. The water effects just work without doing anything extra. And with certain water types, you can even paint extra poop and foam in any location you want if you'd really like to. Yes, water blends textures. It's real. And it's as awesome as it sounds, man. Not sure if some Saurus branches were able to do this, but this is awesome. I can't wait to actually create a more fully featured map with this later on. That's definitely going to be a video. If you'd like to see that, then please let me know in the comments. And that's about it for now. I'm sorry I didn't really get too much into the gameplay. These kinds of games aren't really something I talk in depth about frequently, nor do I play them frequently. But I did want an excuse to talk about mapping in Source 2 as I have never really done that before. And I can't really do that without at least giving my opinion about the game I'm mapping for first, so, you know. Anyway, what do you think of Counter-Strike 2 so far? Let me know in the comments, I'd absolutely love to know. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to Lambda Generation for more videos? We got some very exciting content coming up, so you might actually want to stay tuned. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Hammer and, I don't know, figure out how to add a sun in the sky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works. Yet.